Fans are getting ready when the latest installment of the Halo video game franchise will be hitting stores. And along those lines, using advanced technology, some students in Christiansburg are able to create an animated character of themselves. WDBJ7 Morning's Melissa Gayona is live from New River Community College to tell us, mostly show us how all this works. Pretty neat stuff, Melissa. Yes, it is, Kimberly and Seth. And earlier, we showed you a mocap suit. But now we're going to talk to you about green screen technology. Coming up, we're going to show you how it works. Well, hopefully we can get that sorted yeah. out. Because I want to tell you about that program. What she sold us already this morning is really cool what they've been doing special there. Special suits. And, and suddenly the person on the screen is just doing exactly right. what you're doing. The really? carbon copy of yourself, right. almost. It's pretty but cool. buffer and stronger and more <laughs> agile, of course. Figures. Well, you may be able to see more NFL games in prime time this season, the night, the weeks. That and welcome back to WDBJ7. More than the time is now 6.15. As we mentioned earlier, there's a class happening in Christiansburg. We can actually animate yourself like they do in the movies. Exactly. It's very high tech. Yeah. Let's hope our low tech microphone's working <laughs> this time. WDBJ7 <laughs> Mornings with Melissa Kona is live at New River Community College. Tell us about this program, Melissa, if we can hear you. Yeah, we're going to make it is. work, Kimberly and Seth. <laughs> okay, so if you've watched the movies like Transformers, Toy Story, Avatar, you may have wondered how they mimic that human motion so perfectly. Well, to tell us how is John Spiker, animation specialist. Good morning, John. Good morning, Melissa. Tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here with the green screen technology, how it works. Well, what you're seeing is a combination between green screen and uh, after effects. Our students are now acting on a uh, green screen stage, which can later be keyed out, and our background elements can be added into it, putting them into a virtual environment. And the, uh, the sword effects are later rotoscoped in using uh, after effects and uh, layered on top of it, so the combined effect is uh, what you're seeing here. Okay, and they're actually rolling on that video now. You can see that the exact motions that they were doing using that green screen, as well as the after effects really just you know gets the perfect motion in hand and actually Kimberly and Seth and viewers if you didn't know this this green screen that you see here is actually what Leo Hirschbrunner and all those fine meteorologists at Channel 7 are actually using when they do the weather. I don't think they have as much fun though playing with those <laughs> lightsabers. <laughs> I'd see Leo just duke it out with Jay Webb or uh, Robin sometime. That'd be, cool. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And actually for Leo, I thought of a good name, animated character name for Leo for yeah. Bionic. We're going to call him Leonic. What do you Ooh, think? Oh, good. That may he likes that. Permanent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's pumped up about that. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. That's going to be some pretty strong winds. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go all the way. I'll go 70 miles per hour. Yeah, I think it's 70. Melissa, what do you think? I'll go with 70. All right, we go back to the wonderful weather board. What does Leonic say the correct answer <laughs> is? I just had to get that in there. Yes, it is 70 Yay. miles per hour. And we saw, remember last week, golf ball to mm -hmm. softball size hail? That has to be over 100 mile an hour updrafts wow. to keep that chunk of ice in the cloud. Just showing you all that activity that's going in that cloud to make that ice. Anyway, talk about weather schedule. We're talking about the latest gadgets coming from engineering students from right here in our region when you can check out the 20 2012 Technology Expo in Roanoke. And speaking of technology, students in Christiansburg are getting a taste of computer animation at its finest. WDBJ7 Mornings, Melissa Gaona is live from New River Community College. Yes, and by wearing this suit, students are able to step out of reality and into a virtual world. Coming up, that's exactly what we're going to show you. Some of the greatest movies that use high-tech computer animation, think Toy Story, Transformers, Avatar. It's like the wave of popularity it when it comes is. to movies right now. It's very much in demand. WDBJ7 Mornings, Melissa Gona is live from Christiansburg this morning with more on a program that's making students animated, if you will. Yes, and Seth and Kimberly, it's all by using this suit equipped with 26 sensors and using 3D capability, you are able to construct a virtual 3D environment for yourself. So, John, how would you combine this technology? Well, this technology evolves. So
Okay, so what you just saw was actually in this classroom. It was all using that green screen technology. It was also those After Effects as well as 3D modeling. Now, just to give you guys an idea, this is the CAD program, the Computer Aided Design Program specializing in game technology and animation. About 35 students, Kimberly and Seth, are in this course, and they are looking for more. Pretty neat, pretty realistic, and again, that was just simulated video that wasn't actually happening. There's no mechanic praying mantis on top of the school. Let's clear that up right now. It looks right. pretty good. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Let's get out to Melissa Gano, though. She has a lot of fun today showing us some really neat animated stuff going on at a local college. Yes, and Kimberly and Seth, you got this mocap suit. It's about $10,000, weighs about 14 pounds, and it can mimic the human motion like you would not believe. Just watch Toy Story, Transformers, Avatar, get a good idea of how this all works, and you saw it all here today at the CAD program at New River Community College. Learning the secrets behind those movies. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, very cool stuff. Thanks for joining us here on WDBJ Morning, folks. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.